We are going through the best deck for Arena 11 in Clash Royale, and today, guys, you're going to want to stay tuned to the channel. You're going to want to subscribe because we are going from Arena 1 all the way to Arena 15 with the best decks for each arena in the Arena Challenge, so you guys can progress yourselves by using our decks today to get every single reward. And if you are excited, if you want to see more, leave a like on the video, guys. But let's get into the deck for Arena 11 here. It's going to be the Fireball Bait. Now, we did have a variation of this deck in um, one of the past episodes here, but this one, you have every single card you need. Need because these zappies are unlocked in arena 11 right so not only do you have the royal recruits the royal hogs the zappies so much swarm you also have the goblin cage as an excellent building in this deck you have three spells that is fantastic the arrows you can kill princesses you can kill goblin bills you can kill firecrackers you got all that the fireball is excellent in the current meta you have so much value with that fireball the barbell can snipe things over the bridge or take care of goblin bills as well and the flying machine in the middle of the river when supporting your royal recruits and the royal hogs I mean, it is just straight up too good. Well, let's go ahead, find a tournament really quick for today's videos. And right now, guys, we are going in it with, um, let's go with this one right here. It's got an hour left. Boom. Battle number one. Let's get into this thing. So let's hope we get a fun game here. For game number one, guys, hopefully you're having a good day. We're going against CJ here. He has not won a single game yet in this tournament, and neither have I. We just started. So let's go. Goblin Cage first play with this deck today, guys. We're going to show you guys exactly how you want to play it, how you can win more with this deck, and exactly what you want to do is this right here. The Goblin Barrel over the bridge. It's going to be phenomenal. Uh, sorry, Barb Barrel. It'll take it down. And as you see here, our Goblin Cage is walking up. Goblin Brawler, that is. Is he going to go with the Princess? If he does, you already know we're going for the arrows but right there he is able to defend with just a log that would that is well played for sure if he goes with the princess at the bridge we can fly machine we got some answers here and it's looking like he's going to be playing log bait which this is really good for us not only do we have arrows for his princess we also have a bunch more answers including the bar barrel and the fireball this is going to be awesome let's go flying machine getting infinite value here in the middle like i said guys the flying machine is just not going to be easily taken out it's looking like he actually has double barrel bait here um but nonetheless this is still going to be absolutely awesome we're going to go for our royal hogs here we know he's got the fireball we should have split this up um he's got a fireball there it is that's well played very well played sir now even though he did defend that with a fireball and that is exactly what he should have done very good job there look at that right side tower he actually says good game here and I do not know why he's saying that. I can understand, right? It's definitely our matchup, but I think we're going to be good nonetheless, right? We got the Goblin Cage down here ready to go. I'm, I'm wondering if he's got Princess or if he's got the non-Princess version. We are going to have to find out, guys. He's going with the Knight in the back, though. We got our Goblin Cage in that side of the uh, arena there. So the Goblin Rod will go up and deal with this Knight nice and easy. We're going to split up Zappies in the back, and that is always a good play if you really don't know what to do. Unless you need to save them, of course, for some Balloon or something. But for right here, I mean, we're going to be all set to go. Let's go ahead and just Arrows this. We're going to take that down, so then we can Barb Barrel this Dart Goblin, no problem. We see the log come down. Let's go ahead and go with our Royal Hogs in the split. The Royal Hogs on the right side will actually do some awesome damage while the left side is getting distracted for it, and we're going to go ahead and just fly Machine this. We're getting a little bit more chip damage here and there, and we are playing really good right now. So we're feeling good about this. The Fireball comes down. That was a really bad play because now he's not going to have the Fireball in cycle for our Royal Hogs. So we're going to build up a huge push. Obviously, he's probably going to get back to it. Something we are going to need to remember here is, I mean, uh, okay, he's giving up. Now he's just giving up. We're going to have to play a couple more games here because we are going to destroy this kid. But let's go. Zappy split up. The Royal Hogs split up. We're going to laugh. That was awesome. He tried, but it's just not going to be able to happen for him, guys. And this push right here is absolutely unstoppable because what is he going to fire? Ball. There's three different things happening. He could fireball the flying machine, the left side push, or the right side push, and he is ultimately really not happy about this match, but I don't blame him. There's nothing he could do. Our deck is just so strong. Good game, so we're going to have to play like two more matches now because he was so quick with that loss there, guys. That was absolutely awesome. Let's go ahead and play one more game. Maybe we'll play one more. I don't know. Let's just get into it here. CJ, good game, sir. Thank you for playing. Let's get back into it here. Undefeated on the day. You love to see it, guys, and hopefully you, do, uh, you are enjoying these videos, right? If you want to copy today's deck, it will be linked down below in the description. So make sure to copy it and continue watching so you can see exactly how you guys are going to want to play this. Let's go ahead. Go with our Royal Recruits. I'm feeling a Royal Recruits right now. We see the Miner in the back. Um, let's go. I was wondering if he was going to Wall Breakers this or something, but nope, just a Miner. That's all good. I'm wondering what else he's got, right? So the Goblin Cage does come down. We're going to go ahead and split up some Zappies here to see what he's got going on. And an Inferno Dragon. Miner, Mega Minion, Inferno Dragon. Is this Electro Giant? It very well might be. I have no idea, though. Look at this right side push, though. Gonna get a little bit of damage off there. I'll take that all day. 
Let's go with our Goblin Kids. Let's just see what's going on here. The Mega Minion didn't die, but the Goblin Brawler will get distracted here and will go down. Let's go ahead and go with the Flying Machine as well, guys. Nice. We see the Balloon. We're going to be able to get some good Fireball value right there. We'll take down that Inferno Dragon quick so our tower can help us out with that Balloon. Um, that Fireball was really nasty. It knocked that Balloon pretty far back. That was an awesome way of dealing with that. The Flying Machine here is going to walk up, going to get sniped down, but hopefully it gets a shot off on that tower. Nice. One hit. Beautiful. That's all we take, guys. That's awesome for us. So he's got Balloon Miner. Something very interesting. So this is one of those situations, like I said last match, where we're going to need to save our Zappies, okay? We're going to need to make sure our Zappies are in cycle with that balloon, because they will be an awesome answer to that balloon, guys. So no matter what he really goes with here, I mean, we're going to need to just chill. We're going to need to play smart, and he's going with that Goblin Cage. Well, let's go ahead, see what he's got going on here, guys. We're going to let this stuff move up, and I am wondering what he's got for splash damage, right? Because that will be a major, major problem for him if he cannot deal with these Royal Hogs. Right now, they're moving up, though. He's got the Log. The Log's going to be okay. The Log and Arrows are going to be even better for him, but will he be able to deal with um, everything else? It doesn't look like he will be able to, guys. He's really not going to be able to get that effective of a defense going. Let's go ahead and go with the Barbell here. I am curious, you know, what, when is he going to go with that Balloon Miner? Um, because we're going to need to take that down for sure. Mega Minion there, though, will be able to take care of that. Let's go ahead and go with our Zappies here. Now, I do understand that Miner. That was a decent Miner, I'll say. Let's go ahead and go with our Flying Machine, though. We want to make sure we can kill this Balloon with ease, and the Balloon will 100% go down there. Easy peasy for us. We're going to go ahead and Fireball right here. Nice. We'll be able to connect on that Goblin Cage and hopefully kill it. Boom! The Flying Machine's tag tagging up that left side tower, too. Pretty awesome Fireball there, if you ask me. Well, let's go ahead. Just go with our row recruits in the back, guys. The Zappies on the left side, though, are putting in numbers over there. We're going to go ahead and uh, Goblin Cage right here. We're going to pull that balloon right across. Then we'll go with our Zappies. And he cannot take out our Zappies, I don't think, guys. Does he not have a Fireball in his deck? If he doesn't, he is going to seriously struggle with this. And watch what we're about to do, guys. We're going to go in with the Split Lane Royal Hogs. The Flying Machine overhead. There's Royal Recruits. There's Royal Hogs. He tries to Arrows. Look at both sides, though. I mean, both towers are going to get tagged up more. We're going to go ahead and Fireball this. We're going to continue to cycle so we can get this Goblin Cage in cycle with his Balloon. There's not going to be much he can do here, guys. I think we're just going to continuously over overwhelm him let's see what he's gonna go with though the miner comes out that's a really really rough miner on his end we're gonna go ahead and continue to cycle so we can get our flying machine back the arrows come out that's a fair play will the balloon be able to connect though i don't know if it will guys it definitely might get one connection but look at our barbarian on that tower getting some good connections there let's go ahead and go with our royal hogs here let's go ahead and arrows we hopefully can hit an electro spirit or something um but either way i mean if these royal hogs tag up the tower just a little bit i think we're gonna be all good guys we're gonna go ahead and fireball the flying machine and fireball will take that down and that is game over against a minor royal or a minor balloon deck which arguably is not the best of matchups we were able to get it done there that was an awesome um way of ending today's video we're not going to play one more that was absolutely awesome and guys you see the power even though he had the minor even though he had the arrows and log we were able to take out that balloon with ease once we saved our goblin cage to distract that balloon pull it right over and our zappies in order to stun it really slow it down there the balloon got one hit but overall that allowed us to really push because he overcommitted on attack there he only got one balloon hit not even close to taking down our full tower and then we were able to push up with our flying machine with our balloon uh or sorry fireball and absolutely crush this man's tower so hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video stay tuned for arena 12's best deck through arena 15 thank you so much for watching everybody have a fantastic day master diddy sad out